But of course, we wanted to get the road conditions from the people actually out on the road. Danielle Tedesco traveled both I-40 and I-25 to talk to drivers. She's near I-40 in Coors with what they're reporting. We went all the way out east to Tejeras to talk to drivers going through the canyon. We also headed north to talk to drivers headed to and from Santa Fe. Both told me that they were dealing with icy conditions on the roads and it was taking a lot longer to get where they're going. It's a great night for a warm, toasty meal, but looks like no one was eating out tonight. I haven't seen a winter like this in a couple years. Adrian Polo was the only one brave enough to drive into the subway into Harris tonight. He says it's because he's the only employee with four wheel drive, and still, it wasn't easy getting to work today. I live about 30 minutes away from here, and this morning it took me a good 50 minutes, going about 25 the whole way. It was so foggy and the roads were still messed up. Later on, we noticed roads in the East Mountains were cleared, but a little slushy, and that slush will turn into ice. We'll go extra slow, because that black ice out there, it's deadly, and you never know when you're going to hit it. That's the advice from people traveling up north, too. Ruby Montes was headed to Española. From here from Santa Fe to Albuquerque, it was really clear. But from Santa Fe to Española, it was really icy. She says her husband is the one who does the driving now after she caught some black ice on 599 last year. And I just started spinning, and I had the kids with me, so it was scary. We were also driving around Albuquerque today. Obviously, didn't get as bad as surrounding areas, but I did talk to a tow truck driver who said he had been busy all day helping people stuck in the snow and the mud and people who slid off the road from ice. Reporting at I 40, Danielle Tedesco, KOB Eyewitness News 4.